five volt power source. Then I have 1K resistors right here. I always do that. You always need to have a uh, resistor connected to your, um, your uh, LED. The reason why is because too much current will kill your LED. Too much current will kill your LED. And I have the points of these, uh, what do you call them? Um, resistors connected into the data inputs that I'm dealing with, the data inputs that I'm dealing with. Then I have my output connected to ground. So that means that depending on which one of these is selected, when it's connected to ground, that means the light will come on. Then finally, I have my uh, ground right here and my, uh, my uh, VDD or VCC connected right here. Oh, and then I have my A and my B, which is pretty much my little switches that can cut on or off. And for that, I actually have inside of our toolbox, which I'm about to bring over here right now. Mr. Grill, what is this called? This is a multiplexer. This is called a multiplexer. Yeah, multiplexer. That's what that chip is. That's what that chip is. So the chip right there. I'm about to connect this at home. Yes, you can. Let's see what you got going on over here. All right. So right here, I'm pulling out some of my parts. For instance, I told you that I want to um, switch my A and my B on. Well, for that, I actually have some little buttons right here that I can place inside of my circuit. Now these buttons are very sensitive. I don't like them, but we'll deal with them because that's all I have. Oh, you actually got caps on yours? Yeah, you can, so you can press them down. Just like, you know. Where'd you get those from? They're included in the toolbox, man. Really? Yeah. No, I, didn't, I, never I, never saw saw, I didn't see them. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's why, you know, you gotta go digging into and your tool. class learning. So that you can, like, find, like, little things. But everything I have here, uh, minus these LEDs, are in your toolbox. Uh, and that's just because I keep a lot of LEDs. So we gotta connect the buttons. Should we actually have with the green, yellow, and red. Yeah, see, for instance, this right here, this white yeah. is connected to your VDD. So then that's connected to one end of your button. Like, here, here's another button right here. So that's connected to one end of your button. And then I have this wire connected to the other end of the button. And that connects to your A. Right here, I have VDD connected to one end of the button. And then the other end is connected to B. Right. So if I press this, then that means voltage goes to A. If I press this, voltage goes to, uh, to which one is this? B. B. And that's, that voltage, if it's high that's like a one if it's low that's like a zero mm -hmm. and so it can go there now all we need to do is have some jumper wires for our little um our little uh leds right here and for that i'm going to i, I might have to get some uh, which i don't have over here could you pass me that little blue box Thank you, sir. My finger right now, you can. I got some little jumper cables down here. I usually keep a lot of them with me, but for some strange reason, tonight I just did not bring them. Oh, man. Yes. I got Jack, man. I hope not, man. My wife might have been looking at stuff. <laughs> All right. So let's connect our um, our. LEDs to our VDD so that they can get high voltage. Now this will be the first time that I try this circuit up in here so if it don't work don't look at me crazy now. It just means that we gotta figure out what's going it means down. that we gotta troubleshoot. Yeah we gotta troubleshoot and you trust me troubleshooting is something that every engineer has to do because something may not work. Even electricians have to troubleshoot. Oh man, don't get me started on that. All right. <laughs> All right, so we should have everything 
connected um, as far as this goes. Now, let me power this board up. Let's get some juice, baby. All right. So, let's get some juice real quick. Yeah. <laughs> I might have to put these on. I might have to move the three videos from that I already put up on YouTube to my higher rated channel, the one that has like over 100 subscribers. Well, I would, oh, suggest, yeah? well, I would suggest is just let your um, just let your um, your uh, people know if you have like uh, Instagram or Tumblr or like um, maybe Facebook. Okay, Facebook. I Facebook know. works great for that just like let some people know hey man this is why i'm learning in class and um uh, just put it out there. all right trust me i guarantee you i know a lot of people that just want to do it that don't feel like going through college that like to just experiment oh trust me that's there's a whole bunch of those man there's a whole bunch of those. Let's see what we got going on here. And that's the ones that give you all the publicity. Cause yeah. they, cause everybody uses YouTube. All right, so we're plugging this in and we're gonna give this five volts going to our, I, wait a second, where they move our generator to? Uh, come on guys. We yeah. got Jack, Mr. Grid. Yeah, that's one of these. They go. No, man, we need an actual like power generator. And for that, um, battery. Let's see. Yeah, we could use a battery, but that that sucks, man. Um, man, they done straight up jacked us. They did actually. I don't see a generator. Oh, in it. A generator huh? Yeah, it needs to be a voltage generator. All right, we might have to do uh, a battery thing, like you said. A voltage battery. Yes, that is. That's what we, more than that's what's oh, right okay. here. Oh, they left us with the older ones. They suck. They so suck. All right. Let's see. Make sure you don't. That, that's right. That. Oh, okay. Let's put it right here. All right. It's red, green, and black. I don't know. What, what's the yellow for? What yellow? Oh man, that's whatever you want it to be. That's um, whatever you want it to be. Whatever you want it to whatever be. Whatever you want it to be. Whatever right. your heart desires. Let's do this. All right, so we're going to cut this on. <clears throat> power is on. All right, so this right here is channel. Is that like you're on the computer power supply? Yeah, it's, it's funny like that. Okay, so here's the two channels. So for this current, I'm going to, for voltage, I'm going to set it to like about five volts. Current, I'm going to switch it to probably, we'll go to 0 0.3 milliamps. And just to see what's going on, because those guys, for whatever lame reason, they took our power supply, the nice digital cushy one, and gave us these um, I think old the, ones. Uh, I think the one of those. One that used to be here in the jail, I think his name was. I think those were the ones that he had. Those. No, no, they had them last week, man. They had them last week. No, I know, but he may have come out. That may have been for him. He may have come finally got them. Really? Could be. Never know. What's that uh, capacitor? Uh, now, those are uh, resistors. Resistor, man. Now, this is brown, black, yellow so this should yeah, be like 10, 10, 10k, 10K yeah. yeah and just so that you can test it out and don't do this at home oh come on you serious they the green button power okay cool voila man all right so switch this to uh this right here and like i say don't try this at home i'm about to just stick this in right here and see what we get as far as like um nothing that might mean that this one, uh... So how do you know if a word, word gets hot? No, and it'll actually give us a number. Uh, <laughs> you know your number is it? Yeah, it actually gives us a number. I know, it sounds funny. And yes, it does get hot. Don't try this at home, kid. Yeah, really. All do right. not try this at home. There we go. We got a number. So this right here is... Make up your mind. A 1K, I believe. Yep, yeah, it's a 1K. 
Alright, so just to make sure we get something out of this. By right. the way, people, yes, we do like to goof off sometimes. You said what? I said, by the way, people, we do like to goof off sometimes. We do. That's the way you do it. Just don't try, just don't try being a goofball and doing anything dangerous. Yeah. Just then you will either seriously you injure yourself like or kill yourself. You said what? Blow them up when we're done. Blow them up when we're done? Oh yeah, you can like, kind of like, do like this. Wow, I never knew they connected like that. Yeah. Oh yeah. Alright, let's see what we got going on here. Oh yeah, we gotta select the channel. Uh, let's, <laughs> we let's, don't even know what channel we own. Yeah, well, no, we. It should be that one over there. Let me see something. Yeah. Make sure voltage is out. Yeah, let's see what we got going on here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see. Let's see what we got going on here. I don't want to pay independent. Yeah, sure. Quick question: Who the heck would have one of these type of machines laying right now? I mean, there's people, man. There's people. Yeah, this should actually be lighting up. What happened? Y'all going? Elbow cut easy up. Oh, I had this backwards. My bad. Okay, there we go. I had it backwards. Voila, we can do power. We got light. All right, so. red light. So, yeah. So, it's not too much. So, we got light. All right. So there we go. Alright, now I kind of busted my multimeter. Normally, I would be able to test things out. Now, we do actually have a, um, a multimeter right here uh, that we can use to test my ground. Dang, we still got over 12,000 megabytes in memory left. My ground. It means there. that I've already used like 2,000. Oh yeah. So fourteen right, minute I'm video. Connecting my ground to right here, and then my BDD. I'm connecting that. Right here, and I'm gonna plug it into here. Okay, let's see what we got going on here. So let me make sure that we have everything connected. All right, now technically we should actually be getting something defaultly right now, but nothing, nothing. Correct. Let's make sure everything's plugged in correctly. Okay, all right. The ground's right there, the ground right there. We have our little are our switches all the way plugged in? Yeah, they could be not all the way plugged in. We have this plugged in, so let's see. Yes. And make sure that this is on the right side of things. Yep, alright. So we should actually be having something go on. I'm just gonna. Don't blow it up. Nah, I'm not gonna blow it up. Where'd you get the white light? Did now that's technically not white. It's actually UV. UV. Oh, that's not cool. UV infrared. That is cool. And you can only see it with your phone. Oh, legit, dude. That is that or um. Yeah, we'll we'll talk about that in a few months. IR, you can see on any kind of camera. Yeah, you can see it with your phone. All right, so let's make sure that we have everything uh, connected correctly. Uh, we got our VCC. That's connected correctly. We have here our um, okay. Let's see. All right, let's it's take like a, a look at that. Camera type deal is used to see all kind of different stuff. Let's turn this off real quick. I'm gonna just disconnect my negative and let me take. Yeah, a look. always disconnect your ground because if not, you're gonna blow something up. All right, let's take a look and make sure that we can pull some stuff out with this. Right. They're using. Hmm. This is interesting. Let's take a look at this. Zoom in. 
Let's zoom in. Alright, so we're right here. A is actually inverted. And right here, Y is not inverted. And let's see what we have here. Um, B is actually inverted. Okay. And then we have our uh, inputs right here. This is three, two, one, zero. And then we have, let's see, our strobe, which I'm not concerned about right now. And we have our output. So when this comes in, it's inverted. And it's connected to B bar. And, and then we have another inverter that connects it to B. So the, this is regular B, this is B bar, this is A, and this is A bar. Just like I was showing y'all um, the um, today. So we have our B, our B bar, A, and A bar. So we have our VCC and we have our ground. So now what I'm about to double check is what is the voltage for this. So the minimum right here. Man, we need an actual video camera with talking about tripod. Yeah. <laughs> Let's turn this down. The maximum should be 5.5 you know, volts. You know, you know how much headache that would eliminate? What? Having a video, having an actual camera with a tripod. <laughs> oh, trust me, man. Yeah, I can understand. Let's Not see. only that, and then you'd be like, they always just need to be two, three people that need to come to class just to operate the camera. Right. <laughs> we can learn all night. Let's see. All right. So we should have something working because everything is connected to the right location. All right. So unless, let me see. There might be one thing that I left out, and I told, I talked about this last week that there's a such thing as a um a um. Cam, I mean chip select. A chip select is where you have to like have power or maybe no <coughs> power on that part of the chip mm -hmm. and it activates the entire chip. If you don't have the chip select working, then the whole chip may not work. And this may not have a chip select, but let's take what a look. What are they coming inside the chip? It's a pin. It's a pin. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me see something. Uh, I want to see when the the infrared lights work just just to turn on just oh you want to see that yeah just to see it all right tell you what i'll, I'll help i'll show you something in a few moments interface yeah. infrared okay, i'll tell you use to help synchronize the real data and, uh, uh, i like strobe lights they're fun i'm gonna take it started a strobe can be encoded with sometimes the strobe can be dedicated physical art Auxiliary something used to help synchronize the real day. You got the hookup, baby. Let's let's see some. Let's go back here. We need to show. Who me? No. The the, the way the the way the phone the way the computer screen there, looks right? against the phone. Look at all these weird little swirly. I like them so close. Okay, we don't need the stroke. All right, so by all intents and purposes, this should be working, but it is not. Well, what do we have wrong? Well, that means we got a troubleshooter, man. It's an easy fix. It's an easy fix. Yeah, I sure hope so. Man. Can I tie that together? I should be able to. Ow! You didn't electrocute yourself, did you? No, I keep hitting this dog on zip tie. Oh, that's not cool. Don't zip tie. Alright, so why it's not. Hmm. 
Nu mai pare să fie mai creat din iunea A, vreau? Ia, ce stii? Că doamna avea un iPhone, vreau să fie creat A? Let's see something right here Notice here, if I have B as low and A as low Then my input from C If it's high, then the output is going to be low. If Almost 3,000 megabytes. The output, if it's low, I mean if it's high, it's going to be high. Right. So, if, like I say, all intents and purposes, this particular one should be working. Let's plug this back in. Try number two. Round two. Do me a favor. Let's take a look at something. Let's make sure these lights work. Yeah, make sure they all work. Here's the infrared. And this is what I'm gonna do. Disconnect this. Alright, you should be able to see this on your phone. As soon as it comes on you, I agree. Are you seeing anything? No. I don't nope. See anything. No, no, you gotta put it over it, man. Yeah. Yeah, it's on. It's on? Oh, yeah. it's on. Can you see that? You see that little purple right there? Yeah, that's, that is that's cool. That's the infrared signal right there. That is cool. You should cool. be able to see it too. You might not be able to see it on your camera phone. Like on mine. Uh, uh, so some scopes got infrared. You can only see them a little bit close to them, right? Yeah, like uh, this being able to see infrared. Oh, dude, that's going to be the... Uh, yeah, like the, see? Like see, it's purple on mine. Uh, that means that it's lit up. Yeah, we gonna, that's going to be the... Uh, like so. the little thumbnail for this yeah. video. So that means that the lights work. Well, at least that one does. What about the other ones? Yeah, all of them seem to work. Check your resistors, maybe. That's true. My resistors could be could be uh, faulty. Could be could be faulty. Here, let's take a look at it. What's right? wrong with the one that you have your hand on? All that black stuff uh, around. It. Like I got some stuff on it, man. You know, you don't think that's the, the that's the problem? Nah, could be. It could be, but I doubt it. That's a 1K. So, yeah, it's, yeah, it's good. Yeah, it don't work. That's one eliminated. Three right. more to go. Plugging this back in. One down, three to go. Alright, let's t do the second one right here. Is that me? Mm -hmm. Is everything okay? Don't try this thing. I won't be able to do that. No. Hold on for one moment, gang. Polish your videos.